What is happening guys, it's Junior Tech back again and first of all I just want to apologise for the lack of videos going on for the past week or so because I have been currently moving house and I have actually finally moved now so I am actually back in a new house, me, my wife and family. So now we're getting to the point now where all my stuff is starting to get set up. Got a few new things that are coming towards the channel and towards my setup especially today and we're just going to go from there. So first of all what we're going to be doing is upgrading my PC. So as you remember from a current video I did a while ago. I was waiting ages for this power supply to show up for my PC and it was just taking too long, I was getting refunds, I was buying it again, it wasn't in stock and it, it just went one thing after another. I totally forgot about it about the first lockdown and now I actually decided to order it, ordered it last Friday and it showed up today. So today we're going to be looking at the Corsa TX850. Let's get into it. So guys, yes, that is what we're going to be doing is, so we are going to be changing out my old tacky, horrible, uh, I think it was a 500 watt power supply. That was only temporary because my Corsa 650 broke, so I thought I'd get a new one, but I upgraded to the 850 just for some things that are coming new to my uh, system. So that's what we're going to be doing is, so I'm going to be ripping out the old one, throwing it away and installing the new one. So yeah, I'll get back to you when I've got some panels off. So right guys, so I've got the front panel off as you can see, and I've also got the rear panel off with the amazing cable management I have to say. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is doing a tear down, I'm going to be getting rid of the old power supply, getting the new one in, and hopefully everything should go as planned. So guys, what we're going to be doing is getting this old nasty power supply out. So first of all what you will need is a screwdriver. Probably one not this long, because this is pretty ridiculous, but you know, at, at least at least a decent sized screwdriver. So you can get the nuts and bolts off. So as I said, I am upgrading from a, a horrend. I think it's a C Sonic. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait till I get it out. I'm not really sure exactly what brand it is. I've had it for too long. My uh, Corsa 650, which I originally had. Sorry about that noise. It's got loads of bits in the end of my screwdriver. That's better. So yes, uh, my Corsa 650 did eventually die, and I was so disappointed because it lasted me so long. And I don't know, I don't know what took me so long to get a new one. It was just every time I tried to buy it, it was out of stock or I, I didn't really want to change. I didn't see the point of getting a bigger power supply, which I really didn't need. But, you know, then I had a look into it and I thought, you know what, if I upgrade later on down the line, because there is, oh, you can tell I've moved house because she is dusty. You definitely need to get some cleaning done on this thing. Never mind. So, if anyone is watching, Please don't criticise me for the cleaning. I have just moved house so the computer hasn't been used in a good two weeks and has been sat in storage. So, what we need to do is get everything unbuttoned and unplugged that is attached to the power supply. So you've got your graphics card, motherboard and the CPU connection as well. So we'll start by getting them undone. And the motherboard. So, the model is, it says FSP Group Incorporated. If you know what that group is, drop it down in the comment section because I've never actually heard of it. I got this thing on eBay for about, I think it was like 20 quid, about 20 pound in the UK. So it's not like a loss out on money. So it didn't really, it's done me justice for the time being, but as I've upgraded my system more and more, it tends to be going to the point now where every time I try and load it up, the system just dies. I thought I had graphics card whining, uh, I removed the GPU and I went straight for the graphic integrated graphics and it was the power supply whining like hell. So that was one of my other issues. So, um, But yeah, as you can see, it's just an absolute cables mess. Uh, we're going to get everything undone, everything unbuttoned and unplugged that we do not need anymore. Um, it might take me 10 minutes, it might take me an hour. So. Don't expect this video to be very long because I probably will get annoyed with myself on very many different occasions. Very many different occasions. So, first of all, let's get this 24 pin connector out of there and then get these out of there as well. So, I do have three drives, so my the drives are connected. Not any more than not. Uh, what else we got here? Graphics card, you can come through as well. Oh wow, oh that was it, oh, never mind, so, there we have it guys, so this is a, this is an F FSP Group Incorporated, and it's rated at 500 watts, and it says 
max wattage 120. <laughs> so there you go guys, if you can make anything of that, go for it. If anybody wants this, hit me up in the comment section, it's yours for free. Oh look at that dust build up in there, that is horrendous. What have we been doing? So, you can get rid of all that nasty stuff uh, and sort these cables out eventually. But if you do remember guys from the video just up in the cards there, I did a video review of Sara's Gaming C501 case I believe. I think it's the C501. Pop them in the cards there, have a look um, for this case because the cable management on these cases are phenomenal. I'm just not very good at it. So it's six and two threes really. So, I've got all that out. Uh, that's out. I've got my drives. Uh, that drive can stay in there. I don't even know what all these are for. These are for different uh, switches, but I'm not really using them at the moment. So, I really should give this a clean. So, if any of you guys have got any tips for how I can actually clean my system better and easier and quicker, let me know because I really need to know. So, first of all, I'm going to pop that on one side. Never mind the dust and everything that comes with it and we're going to take a look in the box so here we are guys we have the Corsair TX850M and we're going to have a little look at it now so first of all important information we don't care about we've got series don't care about look the TX650M that is the one I had and I'm so devastated I don't have it anymore right what else we got so we've got some right so main power cable that is really going to come in handy to actually turn it on we have our cable pack and we have, we have our actual power supply. So let's get this bad boy out. Uh, I'll put that box to one side. And here we have it guys. So this is the Corsair. Uh, Corsair TX850. Yes, it's got a whopping 140 mil fan going on the background there. And I believe that's a poly sticker. There we go there. Oh, oh, that's a nice sticker actually. So there we go guys. So as you can see, massive 140 mil fan going on there. Uh, we have the integrated uh, 24 pin connector and for the, and an eight pin. And then we've got your peripherals and your SATA and you've got your six and two PCI and four plus four CPU ones as well. So we're gonna get this installed, get everything hooked up to it. And we're only gonna use the cables that we need to. That's a good thing about having a semi-modular power supply. So. So, what we're going to do is slide this straight in for the time being. Obviously, like I said, make sure the fan is facing downwards because you do not want all the hot air going upwards into your system. Uh, don't worry about my cable management at the moment. It will be getting sorted out. I'm just pretty much just showing you guys what's going on. So, a 24-pin connector I'm going to put through this slot because it's the easiest one for me to gather at. And this is the 8-pin for my CPU as header as well. So, that's just going to go straight on the top there. So let's get them installed first. Yeah, never mind the dust guys, I really need to clean this guy up. Right, so a pin connector. So as you can see guys, guys, here is the 24 pin connector which is coming from there. So that's this is what this is for. So it's a 24 pin connector. I know when you first get a power supply, the cables can be a little bit twisty and a little bit stiff. That's not an issue. So what we're gonna do is bend this over. Just give it a little bit of a twist and then pop the 24 pin connector straight in. And then that should go in quite nicely. And there we go. And then excess cabling can just go straight around the back. And there we go. So that's not too bad for when it comes to cable management, which is not a problem. So guys, as you can see right there, that is the eight pin connector for the CPU. So as you can see, the cable that came integrated with the power supply is just gonna go in there. And it's kind of the same process when you first get the cables, they are very stiff. So you've just got to make sure that pop that straight in there pull the excess cable through and there we go cpu one is now installed now what i can do is actually start sorting out the rest of the cables i'm gonna need so so guys first of all the thing i forgot to tell you is what actually comes with this power supply so yes you get the power supply you get the power supply itself which is a, a tx 850m it's got an integrated a 24 pin for the motherboard and also an integrated 8 pin all split to form 4 pin for the motherboard for the cpu as well you also get, you get two dual cables for your graphics cards. So you get the A pin, which will go back in the uh, back of the power supply. And then for your graphics card, you've got two individual six pins and you've got two individual two pins each. And you get two of them cables there. You also get two Molex to four pin as well. You get two of them. And you also get some, you get a three pin to quad Molex as well as. And you get eight, I believe, is it eight? Oh, sorry, you get two of them, and you also get eight 
type 4 to SATA cables as well, so plenty of room for plenty of drives. So I can have what, one, two, three, four, five, eight. I can have eight drives just from this power supply, which isn't too bad, but I only have three, so I don't really need that many. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this hooked up, I'm gonna get my graphics card done and my drives done, and I think that's pretty much it. I think that's it. So let's get a close up. We'll go to what I'm plugging in the back of the power supply and then we'll go from there. As you can see, you've got your integrated cables coming out there. Then I also have these ones here. So you've got your SATA on the bottom, which will be these ones, and then you've got your graphics card ones here. So I need to plug in a graphics card one. Let's get you lowered there just so you can see what's going on. I'll get my graphics card ones unraveled. Got my four pin one there, and then you can tell this apart because on the opposite side you've got all your split ones. So they'll be for if you've got A, you've got multiple graphics cards, or if you're, or say if you've got like a 30, 3080 or a 3090, and it takes more than just several pins. So I'm going to pop that in the top one there, and then these ones are pretty much going to get wired straight through. And then all I need now is I also need a this SATA cable. So like I said, you've got these, so a three pin, and I'm going to pop that one at the bottom there. And then, so this is where it gets a little bit complicated because I have two drives on the left and one on the facing. So let's see how we're going to do this and I'll get back to you. And I'm actually going to use my system all hooked up. Uh, the graphics card is a little bit of a tricky one because obviously I am running a RTX 2060 Gaming X. And it's a little bit tricky because it's an 8 pin cable. And the only downside of this power supply, I have to say, is the matter of fact you don't get a massive amount of length on the PCI cable which I am going to show you in just a second so you'll be able to understand but like I said apart from that at the moment in time there's not really anything else I don't like about this power supply mind I haven't had it run uh, ran up and actually running at the moment so to be honest with you I still don't even know if it works um, I'm pretty much in, installing this while I'm showing you guys so yeah if I've done anything wrong guys just drop it down in the comment section I, I've probably made a mistake somewhere but, do you know what it is? That's kind of the point of building PCs. You've got to make mistakes on the way. Now, cable management at the moment in time can pretty much go do it, do one because I'm not really bothered at the moment. Um, my cable management will get sorted eventually. Uh, but all I need to do is sort out all of this. So, pretty much by the wraps of it is by getting rid of any external cables. So, what we can do with this resort is for the motherboard ones for the cpu they can get tucked behind there so they're just here <sighs> so guys i didn't want to show you that part because my one pet hate is cable management and the one thing i'm not good at is cable management so i think we're a bit straight now right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this plugged in and fingers crossed we're actually there because i've pretty much built pcs but I'm still not very confident with it. I don't think anybody is. I hate electrics. They scare the crap out of me. I just don't like them. So, and you may notice there's a couple differences, hence the desk. And don't worry, we're going to get into that. There's going to be another video. To help if I plugged all the cables into the back of the computer. So, I'm just going to turn you around so you can watch my embarrassment. There we go. When it comes to cable management, but when you're trying to cable manage stuff like this, it really doesn't work very well. So, I'm just going to plug in the basics. And then we're pretty much just going to go from there because I'll be back in a second. So, that's not what I wanted to see. So, I'm going to have to have a look. It might be because I've got the boot drive on the opposite side this time. I'm not too sure. Um, hopefully that's not the reason. Because I have set it up to be the boot drive. But, I might have not done it properly. So preparing automatic repair, this is not a good sign. Don't worry, I've sorted it. It's all fine, I just had the boot drive and the storage the wrong way around, but don't worry about it, it's now loading up. So give this a couple of minutes and then hopefully, if this loads, I would have success successfully recorded myself putting in a new power supply. Which I'm sure you've seen these videos about a million times, but yeah, I try to help. What? Ah, uh, see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, wrong pin. And there we go, guys. That was hard. That's going to set up all the stuff. But that was really hard. But the good thing is, I now have my new power supply because my other one gave up on me. 
So there we have it guys. So not the best of the videos I've ever done because I had a few hiccups on the road. But I've just moved house, got my PC set up, which was extremely dusty because it's been sat in storage for about a week or so. Haven't had a chance to do videos, but I'm glad I've actually managed to get the videos done now. There is quite a lot of videos coming to the channel. Obviously, I've done the power supply. I've got a new desk that I want to show you guys. I've got a new 32-inch monitor from Acer that is also getting linked up and having the dual monitor effect going on. Um, and I will pop links in the description for where you can find them. There will be links in the description where you can get this power supply as well. And get them fast due to the corona and the lockdown. Everybody seems to be buying power supplies. And they are going out of stock so, so quick. So I was lucky to get this one. It was the last one in stock at PC World or Curry's. But anyways, guys, this is the first video back in my new house and all nice and buttoned up. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you are interested in the merch I wear for my videos, check the links in the description. Thank you very much, guys. I am Junius Tech Tips, and I'm out.